What's going on, y'all? What's, 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 what's the whole thing we now call Cypher 360? This is 360 now, man, for the new season of Cypher. This is basically the new season, right? Yes, here. sir. This is, <laughs> I just thought of that just now. I know he's a new season too, like a second ago. Yeah, this, this is, is what, a what, new what they call season. that. What they call what that call when, uh, when, when, they, when when they have a new uh, 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 the the. Sweeps week or some shit like that? That's in May usually though. Uh, okay, anyway. Right, anyway, 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 Cyber 360, y'all. I am your host, Marcus the Kid Born. With me is my man Muff. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good, man. We back at it. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Like we, a jack uh, rabbit. Doing like your mom while your dad's absent. Yes, sir. Where is that quote? What is that from? Is that is that I, I wrote is that, that, in? that I wrote you that. You wrote that? Yes, I did. That sounds like something you wrote. Anyway. I tell you. you know, but it doesn't mean not in a bad way though. You okay. You're a writer. Um uh -huh. glad to be back. Uh, we're gonna try some different things here on Cypher 360 going forward. Yes, sir. Um, you know everything is gonna be hip hop based, obviously. But mm -hmm. for those of you who don't know, and some of you guys do know, before we even got into uh, doing the uh, hip hop reviews, we used to have a radio show mm -hmm. on uh, a local uh, station called WUFO where we actually talked about politics. Yes, sir. And uh, that was about four years ago, before the uh, presidential, the last presidential election. Mm -hmm. And because we're all, we've always been passionate about politics, we kind of want to get go back to that which mm -hmm. is kind of funny because when we were doing the political show we were like you know we need to get back to hip hop <laughs> so <laughs> Cyber 360 there you go full circle mm -hmm. so we want to we kind of want to bring the two worlds together and we're always you know we, you know we're basically kid and I we're prime time we we know we will talk to you about entertainment in general it could be TV it could be sports it could be whatever and uh, you know we just kind of want to hit on some of the uh, top um, issues uh, of of the day. So, mm -hmm. uh, with that said, man, uh, teed up, man. What, what you got? What's on the agenda today? For um, right now, well, first we're gonna talk about hip hop, if you don't mind. Hip hop. And we're gonna talk about hip hop. We're gonna talk about a hot album that we just heard. Uh, we just heard. I just just listening to it outside. Yeah. Um, my man, brother Ali. Brother Ali. Yes, sir. Um, morning. morning in America. Dreaming in color. Dreaming in color. Technicolor, probably. Mm. Um, yeah, brother Ali. I've been on here for a minute. Okay. Um, no, and I know I, I kind of, you know, brought him to your attention. Yes, you did. And he has a unique uh, flow in terms of, he has kind of a singy, sing-songy type of flow. Mm -hmm. um, if you want a reference point for what I'm talking about, if you listen to the remix of Buck em Down by, by Buckshot Shorty, mm -hmm. it's, the flow is similar to that word. Okay. The dude's rhyming, but he's kind of singing his lyrics mm -hmm. a little bit. Right. Right? So, um, that, that's what you're going to get from Brother Ali. Uh, he's very lyrical, mm -hmm. uh, almost militant in some of his ideology at times. Mm -hmm. Uh, certainly less militant today on this album than he had been in, in uh, albums past. To be honest with you, okay. Um, you know, uh, so uh, "Morning in America," "Dreaming in Color." What I liked about this album is what I've always preached. If you listen, or you know, if you've been hip to a lot of our shows we've done in the past, uh, I will always tell you that if you have pretty much one producer, mm -hmm. that's going to do do you well a, as an artist. You know what I mean? And I've always said that you are responsible for your own beats. I can make or break you. In fact. I thought about this uh, while we were on hiatus, and I don't know what you think about this. Now, I don't want to digress too much, but I'm, I'm thinking about this right now, and I'll bring okay. it to you. We always rate MCs based on flow, you know, lyrics, cadence, whatever. Okay, mm -hmm. you know what? Another category, an MC, a category we should rate an MC on, in my opinion, what's that? Is beat selection. Okay. I think that's legitimate, man, because you could be, a, you know, if you, I know some MCs that are moderate MCs, but like have they have a gift for beat selection. Okay. Uh, people like. Master Ace comes to mind. Oh yeah, he does a great oh, job of beat Grace, selection, yes. and it helps him as an MC mm -hmm. going forward. Uh, some of my t some of the best, very best MCs out there, I think, have moderate beat selection at best. Nas, Jay Z, and Eminem comes to mind. Okay, where they can they'll have some beats that are incredible, but some beats you're like, wow, are they rhyming over this. Mm -hmm. You know. So <laughs> at any rate, uh, back to uh, Brother Ali, Ali. Uh, Jake One. Yeah, uh, Jake One is one of the. Uh, up and come. I shouldn't call him up and comer. I've been on been on Jake One for a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, Jake One kind of got a, has a little popularity right now because he actually has a beat on Rick Ross's album called Three Kings. That's his beat on Three okay. Kings. That's him right there. Right. To me, that's my favorite track in the whole album. You know, wow. okay. um, you know. So I'm very familiar. If you're not from it, some other uh, things that Jake One has done in the past, uh, Freeway and, and Jake One actually made a al collaboration album together. Maybe about mm -hmm. a year ago, we reviewed that album. Mm -hmm. And uh, also uh, Jake One solo album, which is a double CD. Check it out. He has great beats but that said he can be very hit or miss to me now okay. I just have to say he's the best producer ever or anything like that but he's one of the better 
uh, underground producers you'll find out there. Um, the question becomes, how does his production work with Brother Ali's, you know, rhyming style? Um, I think it, for the most part, it pretty much works. Mm -hmm. You know, if I was to have a, a conversation with Brother Ali and I said, well, dude, pick one producer to rhyme on, I don't know if I'd say Jake won't be the guy for him, okay. but he's not. it's not like a miss with having Jake Jake one on there either, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, some of the tracks that stand out on this album, uh, Stop uh, Stop the Press and All You Need, you know? Um, and, and those, and if you listen to those tracks, those two tracks right there, that gives you a pretty good... Um, I, I, you you pretty much get the type of uh, uh, production style that Jake that Jake one employs pretty okay. much. You know, if you look at, listen to those, because most of his beats kind of sound similar. With a lot of vocal samples, mm -hmm. that type of thing. You know, kind of a, you know funky you know loops and that type of thing. Uh, but that said, where are you at on, on this album? Well, when it comes to production, I loved it. Okay. Soulful beats, but they weren't too crazy. You know, that's another thing I like. I mean, he's not the bomb squad or nothing like that. Everything is very, very simple. It just seem to be very simple hooks, very simple loops, very, very simple beats, but very, very soulful. I love the beats. And the way that Brother Ali comes over these beats, I mean, he has kind of a smoky type of texture to to his voice. Okay. And when he rhymes, he has that, he's so technical when it comes to when it comes to his rhyme style. Mm -hmm. And you said almost sing-songy. Mm -hmm. To me, it sounded like almost preachy. You know what I'm saying? I felt I, like I was in the pulpit ah, that's a, that's, that, that's, you know? yeah, that's, that, I like, you, like that you said that. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when he be preaching, yeah, he be coming on like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's, yeah, he definitely preaches. Yep. Yes. yes, yes, and I, I mean, I, I, I love Brother Ali like yep. that, and, okay. and I love this album because main okay. reason, I mean, not just, I mean, the beats were dope, rhymes were dope. It was very relatable. Okay. Um, every once in a while, you need an album that is just straightforward at you. I mean, he has a very straight message, and that message is: this world is shit. But we don't have to live in it the way it is. You can, you do can be you can be the hundredth monkey. Read that book if you know what I'm talking about. You can make a difference, but it starts with you. Yes, anyway, and I, I mean, and, and he has a very very straightforward message right. in this album, and I love it. And I, like I said, that that it's so relatable. You know, I I don't always like to hear people talk about how much money they have or what kind of cars they drive. That that's very it's very I don't know. It gets childish to me, and gets it's just very cliche. Well, let me let me let me speak to that a little bit, man. Cause I've been on a I've been on the. Uh, I was online in one of my forums that I go to. I always talk about one of the forums that I go to. Mm. You know what I mean? But um, Morning room. <laughs> but here, here's the thing regarding that. I know a lot of people will point to the film. Whenever we say something bad about, say, like, say, Soldier Boy. Okay. They'll point to his age. Mm -hmm. They'll say, this dude, what is he, 18, 19, 20, probably like 20, 21, 22 years old, whatever, mm -hmm. 18, 19. Okay. Let me, let, me, let me shut that on down. Today, I was listening to a... Um, uh, it's on YouTube. It's my post of this a video of Brother J from X Clan. Okay. Okay. Who's still doing music right now? Uh, to the East Black Words was the uh, their initial album that to came the out. East like, Black yeah, Black yeah East about eighty nine. It came out right. Mm -hmm. Think about how lyrical that album was and what he was saying. Mm -hmm. Right. That brother was nineteen when he put that out. Mm. Paid Even in thanks. full. Paid in full. Written by obviously Rock Rakim mm -hmm. from Air Rock Rakim. Seventeen years old when he wrote that out. Mm. Okay. In so, your face. So <laughs> he's stupid. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, you're just still you can be young and you can still, you know, being young is not is no excuse for not saying anything in hip hop. That's mm. my whole point. You know what I'm saying? These dudes they they come along. They write what they feel. You don't have that anymore. That was pretty much shut down. You will never see another public enemy be popular. You won't see X Clan be popular the way it was. You won't see that anymore. That's been shut down by the powers that be. I don't want to digress too much on that. And I talk about that a lot. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, those dudes were on the cusp of starting a movement, man. Mm -hmm. Straight up. You don't have that anymore in hip hop. Listen to what you're listening to right now, mainstream hip hop. It's freaking nonsense. Mm. Freaking nonsense. So at any rate. Oh, speaking of people uh, out there, people that are young, you know, Lil Wayne isn't little anymore. The man just turned 30. Happy birthday, Lil Wayne. Yeah, game got into a fight. They were at the uh, party yeah, yeah. or not. <laughs> you know, I... Anyways, uh, happy birthday, Lil Wayne. And not that Lil Wayne doesn't say anything. He has great, great wordplay. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's his niche. But I don't hate on him for that. You know what I mean? I'm just talking about where are your conscious MCs coming over there? Where are the young people are saying that, saying that mm -hmm. stuff? Man, it's a lot of good young MCs, but nothing in the mainstream for certain. But back to Brother Ali. Uh, Brother Ali does have something to say. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not that he's not a young dude, so I'm not going to sit there and put him in the same category as the same guy I was just speaking about. Uh, but when it comes to rating this album, rate it. Go ahead, rate it. Gonna go ahead out of five. Out of five? Gonna give it three siphies. 
Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I just said three. I meant three and a half Syphies. Oh, okay. No, no, I mean, three and a half Syphies. It's about the same as me. Three I thought this, I thought this was great. I thought it was a very introspective. I thought it was, I mean, but simple and still down to earth. Um, great flow, great beats. I'll also give it 3.5. So, hey, check it out. And don't forget to check us out. You can hit us up on Facebook. We are the Cypher Crew. Cypher Crew. You can also hit us up on Twitter. We are Kid and Muff 44 at Gmail. Or on Twitter. That's K I D D A N D M U F F 44 on Twitter. We're also, uh, what's the other thing we're on? We're on um, Facebook. Uh, um, Facebook. And uh, don't forget to Gmail us at Kid and Muff 44 at Gmail.com. That's K I D D A N D M U F F 44. We're Gmail. Still, we're still a Cypher crew. I don't, we're probably going to want to change. Right now, we're still Cypher crew on, mm -hmm. on Facebook. But we may go to Cypher. We may change the name to Cypher 360. Cypher 360. So, you know, be on the lookout for that. And I'll let you guys know what's going on with that. Feel free to send us your beats like you've been doing. Mm -hmm. Feel free to send us your opinions, whether you like us or think we're wag as hell. We mm -hmm. want to hear both sides of it. We appreciate that, all of it. Yes, sir. Um, And there you have it. There you have it. Brother Riley. <clears throat> Morning in America, dreaming in color. 3.5 all around. Check it out. Why? Cause the cypher said so, son. Peace. Do you tell what you don't stop? stop. Check it, my man Trey, and you don't stop. Johnny Boom back, and you don't stop. My man Muff, and you don't stop. My nigga Woo, and you don't stop. Little Brooklyn, and you don't stop. Grand Jury, and you don't stop. Jay White, and you don't stop. Cypher music, and you don't stop. Check it, we. Rise from the grave with the eyes of a slave We strive to survive, rocking the mic live No surprise that we paid We created a trade that became a craze It wasn't vice versa Gave birth to a verse and baptized it in cursive If you thirst for the real then travel no further We murdered the fraudulent motherfuckers And went out to get burgers We hip-hop carnivores Living by the order